Happy Friday. It's raining again. Cup's still there. We just got some flash flood warning, so I think we're we're not gonna be golfing today. But <laughs> uh, what I was gonna do is do a what's in my bag. I got my bag. Do a what's in my bag edition today and I thought we could just sit right here and y'all could watch the rain in the background. What do you think? Um, so yeah, I thought I would do a what's in my bag but occupational therapy edition. And I'm a little bit scared because there's a lot of things in here and I haven't gone through it yet so I don't know what I'm gonna pull out. The scoops. So I'm just sitting in front of my door. I don't know if that's weird. Ooh, ooh. I hope the power doesn't go out. So this is my backpack. This is what I take with me every day to work. I take it into every house that I go to. We'll start with the biggest compartment and work our way down to the smallest. Um, so the first thing that I have is my laptop. It's a Dell laptop. It's actually brand new. I've had it for maybe a couple of months and they just upgraded all of our laptops, which is pretty awesome. The ones that we had before were so old. And then, because we just switched to a new documentation and electronic health record system, um, I have a lot of notes in here because I'm still learning how to use it. And that is the first compartment. On the second compartment, I have my hand sanitizer attached. This one, we've got bubbles. Got our classic bubbles for when you just gotta get a kid to do something. It's funny, some of the kids are better at doing the bubbles than I am. Bubble, bubble! Ooh, there we go, that was a good one. Okay, so we got bubbles. Um, I have this bag that has a few things. So part of my job as a therapist, and not every therapy um, or home health therapy is like this, but our viewpoint is that we don't bring in a lot of like outside toys or therapeutic materials that the parents won't always have access to. So we really just have to use what they have in their home and be really creative. Um, but I do have a few things like the bubbles and stickers and stuff that I'll show you that I have just in case we need to use some of those things. Um, or something that I know like a parent can go out and buy bubbles. These are like a dollar at Walmart. So something that's not very expensive. Is the lighting okay? Is the lighting kind of weird right here? Hold on. Is that any better or worse? I don't know. So this is like my bag of just kind of random stuff. I've got some Paw Patrol stickers. And actually I used to have a lot more stickers. I don't know what happened to them all. Um, I've got some crowns, and these are the jumbo crowns. And so I like to use these because they're a little bit wider so it's easier for kids to grasp them versus uh, those really skinny small ones. Um, and then a coloring book, which has been used many times. Let's see, oh, here's some more stickers, Mickey Mouse stickers. Oh, 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 There's my other stickers. These are my mini Mouse stickers. There we go. Um, in this middle compartment, I keep my laptop charger, which luckily I don't really have to use anymore with the old laptop. I literally had to plug it in all the time, like in every house that I went to, so that was kind of annoying. But now I can make it the whole day. Okay, then I have a bunch of papers. Um, so I have a, what is this, well, what would you, what is this called, a paper tablet? A notepad, there we go, it's a notepad. Um, so it's a notepad that if I need to take notes, or I mostly just use it to have kids color on it, again. Um, but I have this, this is another whoop, checklist. Um, 
that we got in our training, which I have in there. Um, what else do we have? This is the amount of papers that I normally keep in there. I actually recently just cleaned it out because there were so many papers. So I keep extra copies of, I guess I can show you what, um, I don't think there would be anything wrong with this, showing you the assessment that we use. We use the Battelle Developmental Inventory, so we use that to assess our kids to see if they qualify for therapy services. Um, I don't ever have to use the paper, luckily, I don't have to use the paper copy. This is only in emergencies, like if for some reason the online system isn't working, we have to use that. Um, but so yeah, I keep a couple of copies of those. I keep a couple of like development checklists. And what else do we have in here? Um, I've got some nutritional information. And that is about it. So that's all the papers and that is the middle compartment. You're all enjoying the rain. Is that distracting you? I thought you might like it as a background. I have three pens. I have what have we got in here? Oh, my headphones. I have these are cheap. I bought them at like a gas station one day because I had to do trainings and listen to trainings on my computer. So I've got those in there. I have this, this is, if you can even see that. Ooh. It's a goniometer, it's a goniometer, so you use this to measure the range of movement that a limb has. Um, I actually used to have two, so this is a small one, I used to have a bigger one, but a child broke that, so that was not good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I have balloons, again, used sometimes for therapy an empty packet of Clorox wipes, so we can throw that out. Random notepad piece of paper, trash. Um, I've got this notepad in here that I never use. We're just gonna be cleaning out. Um, I've got this handbook that we got at a training one time that I've used a couple of times, but I just keep it because you never know. Oh, another pen. This is my bag of gloves, so I do some oral assessments for kiddos that might have feeding difficulties. Um, and so I keep gloves with me. Um, empty thing of chapstick that I use for therapy to try and get a kid to make different lip movements by putting chapstick on. Um, another notepad that has never been used with other random notes, so we're just gonna Look, I'm cleaning it out. A really gross, empty bag. Um, a pencil. Oh, a toothbrush from when I went to the dentist. Um, an empty packet of a baby bottle pop that I use for feeding therapy. <laughs> so trash, there's a lot of trash in here, which was I, I was kind of afraid of. Um, this is my badge, just trust me that my badge is in here. Uh, another piece of trash. Hand, more hand sanitizer, I put that in my car. Um, basically just more trash. Hand, more hand sanitizer, I put that in my car. Um, basically just more trash. Trash. Oh, this was fun. This was, um, one day I was driving down, but I was driving down the street and there was these people like waving me over and it was, the people that work for Honda of North Texas, and they go around, you never know where they're gonna be, but basically if you drive a Honda, they will sometimes give you free stuff. So like that day, because I saw them, I got my gas for free. They just paid for my gas. Um, and they were like, hey, can you put us on Facebook? And I never did, so now I'm saying, hey, Honda of North Texas, thanks for uh, filling up my gas tank. Got a couple of more things that I use for feeding therapy. You'll see that. Anyways, they're to work on drinking from a straw. Put those over there. Um, other therapeutic devices. I use this for kiddos that maybe have difficulty opening their thumb. And it's a, I'll wrap it up. And my hand's kind of big, but it kind of looks something like that. 
What else? What else? Lollipop. You never know when you're gonna need a lollipop for feeding therapy. Trash. And just some random coins. Woohoo! Look how clean it is. Empty. Um, I don't keep anything in this pocket, so I think that's everything. Um, yeah, I think that's everything that was in my bag. And I always just put my keys in this little side, in this little side pocket right here. So I just grab them easily. Um, so yeah, that was everything that was in my occupational therapy bag that I use for work. Hope that was informational and educational. Um, let me know what you thought. If you are a therapist and you carry a bag, let me know what you carry. And um, I'll see y'all tomorrow in the next video. Bye.